first, thanks for coming. Um, uh, f first of all, I got to say that I will be talking mostly about. Okay. Uh, so, f first of all, I need to t tell uh, that I'm going to talk about command lines tools only. So, who of you is using command lines mostly? Please raise your hands. Okay, most of you. And who prefers a graphic, uh, graphical interface? Okay, ju just a few of you. That's cool. Uh, so, I, I want to present you a few tools. Uh, First one is uh, being called Tmax. Who of you uses Tmax already? Okay, uh, half of you. That's cool. So uh, Tmax is a kind of replacement for uh, screen. Screen allows you to leave your session open, to detach from it, attach later. Uh, but the reason why I'm showing you Tmax is because it is still actively uh, developed uh, it has much better memory management. Uh, you can even use Tmax for pair programming. Uh, when you try to attach to same session on from different uh, hosts, you can see the same thing even if you're not sitting sitting ne next to uh, another person. Uh, so there will be a live demo in a few seconds. But the next next thing I want to show you is uh, Zshow. Who of you knows and uses the show? Okay, so one fourth, I, I guess. So the show is really, really cool alternative for Bash or replacement for Bash. Uh, anything, everything I, I will show you, uh, or most of things I will show you will be I mean, are possible in Bash, but it's uh, too too much work to script it to prepare everything. And for Zshow, there are many tools like Oh My Zshow, which is a set of uh, prepared configuration that you can use and uh, have many awesome features out of the box. Okay, so um, let's start by showing you what I'm uh, the, the tools. Okay. can see it, but not in full screen. Okay, sh you should be able to see what I'm typing, uh, so there's no magic involved. Uh, what you can see is a basic Zshow uh, terminal right now. Uh, so let's start by showing you some of its uh, features, like autocomplete. So. So I'm typing something like this, and when I hit tab, it auto-completes to full path using just the uh, letters I inserted. If the path is, if the path could be extended into one unique path, then it uses that. If there are many uh, possibilities, it will ask you to complete the, the path. So I'm here at a place like this, some demo application, pr production branch, let's say, and configuration directory. So uh, let's say I want to change uh, folder without going back and going down again. So I could do something like this. And bam, I'm in d different directory, but same folder beneath. So what it did, it just changed the prod part of the path into the dev, and that's how I got to this place. Um, yeah, another uh, thing regarding to moving around in directories is that instead of doing this, you could do just this. Or if you want to go back deeper, one more dot. Simple, but uh, quite useful. Uh, what else? Uh, Zshow has a lot of plugins. That's a GitHub repository with plugins. 
There's uh, some plugin for pip, for Python, for PyLint, uh, auto pep8. Yeah, there's a lot of cool features here. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, this show can uh, has kind of autocomplete uh, with navigation. Let me show you. Uh, so let's see. I want to go to demo, but I'm not sure what's after demo, right? So it uh, suggests two options for me. And when I hit tab again, I can navigate the options, <coughs> choose one of them, and then just go there. It's uh, quite uh, useful when you have uh, long names or similar names and you don't want to type everything on keyboard. Just navigate, choose the proper option, and uh, go f follow from there. Oh, I guess there Now you can see my keys. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what else? There's also this uh, nice, nice tool called uh, Auto Jump. Yeah, you can Google it. Uh, basically, what it does, it remembers the paths that you visited, so you can uh, go there faster, just by typing. Uh, uh, few letters. So I, I want to go to the direction called, directory called uh, economic pi. So I just type s some some of uh, some part of the folder name or the file name. It works with VI as well and other things. And it just auto completes to th this path because it's one of the most common that I used. Uh, and here's another feature of uh, the show. It has a Git plugin that shows you you are in a Git directory and what kind of branch you are using. And uh, what's more, whenever there's uh, some changes in your branch, uh, un uncommitted or unstashed, there it can show you that there is something you should see. You should check it. Uh, yeah, so. More or less, that's uh, that's it for now for for, uh, for this show. The uh, the other tool is uh, Tmax. So this uh, this Tmax session is uh, a bit pre-configured. That's where you can see uh, different colors than by default and some date, host name, and so on. So what you can see is that in status bar uh, at the bottom. There's a window name and panel name. So let's change the panel name. Oh, that's window name, sorry. Uh, yeah. So we change the, the whole Tmax session name, uh, just one window name. Uh, same as uh, in screen, you can create additional windows. Uh, I, the default uh, screenshot is to control B, I guess, but I remapped it to another to, to dash, so it's uh, faster for me. So you can create as many windows as, as you want, navigate them uh, using next, <coughs> sorry, next uh, previous, using index of the window. You can uh, split the window horizontally, split it uh, vertically. Yeah. And you can have, you know, different things in different window. Maybe not that useful when the fold is so <laughs> big, but uh, yeah. And what I said at the beginning is that you can detach from Tmax, do something else, uh, and then Tmax attach. It at attaches to default session. You can have uh, multiple sessions, and then you, you need to provide a uh, session name to attach to a specific session. Um, 
what else? Uh, let's try attaching to the same session in another window. Yeah, you can see it's, it. Oh. Yeah, it works. Uh, I have two windows here with same session attached, and you can you can see that if I change something in one of the windows, it automatically uh, synchronizes with another one. So that's some kind of way to do pair programming in console uh, when you're working remotely with somebody. Um, I said that there's uh, this set of configuration and plugins called Oh My Z Show, but there's also a thing called Presto or Antigen. Basically, it's quite similar project some created some by somebody else who thought that uh, Oh my show isn't so clean, isn't so well kept, and should be rewritten. So more or less, it gives you the same features, same things. Uh, it's maybe, uh, uh, yeah, it's definitely up to you, whatever you want to use. Some people claim that uh, Presto or Antigen are faster because they are less bloated. Um, yeah, and another alternative to uh, to Bash and Zisho as well is shell called uh, Fish. I don't use it personally, but it has quite similar features to Zisho. It's pre-configured uh, out of the box. It uh, uh, it differs in a way that it can be configured using just web browser. So you use GUI interface to to configure your command line shell. That's Quite funny, but some people prefer that to uh, to regular shell. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other useful uh, stuff regarding to Tmux. Uh, like you want to kill some app, it also uh, can suggest what you want to kill. So you can choose from nice list of running processes instead of just uh, selecting pro process ID from the list. So it's a few seconds, but uh, still it's quite quite useful. And regarding Tmax, uh, there are some tools like uh, Tmaxinator, Tmoxio, or Tmaxomatic. And all of them allows you to save your uh, Tmax session and start it from scratch whenever you restart your laptop. So let me show you that. You just call it uh, Tmoxinator. Oh. Create. Oh, sorry. No. New. Your Python. Uh, at the beginning, beginning you, you are given the configuration file when, where you have to prepare your configuration of Tmax, uh, panes, windows, and so on. Here you uh, specify layout of the screen, what you want to have running in every given uh, part of the panel. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's, whoop. Sorry. Yeah, let's save it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, do you have any? Q. And? Okay. Oh. Okay. So I, I'm still trying to learn Vim, <laughs> as you can see. 
so uh, there's another comment the Muxinator. It's uh, just start your Python. And it starts with. Uh, oh, we didn't save the configuration. I, I see. Let me try again. This, as you can see, it uh, divided the screen into three parts: left one with Vim, right one with Guard, which I don't have uh, installed, <laughs> unfortunately, and the lower one. Uh, actually, that's another nice feature of the show: that whenever you want to run some application that doesn't exist, it uh, tries to autocorrect you. So there's no su such thing as Vim. So maybe you meant Vim. It, and you can say that no, uh, yes, always. And something that uh, means never, I guess. So yeah. Uh, so uh, I, th I ca came up with the tools uh, because I, in the uh, last few months, I was working a lot, really a lot, with uh, command line instead of uh, instead of uh, graphic tools, because command lines always gives you full power. Graphic interface is uh, really often limited to some few options only. Okay, so we had light demo, and there's also one last thing I want to show you. Uh, the slides should be online, so you'll be able to find all those links later and read uh, all the resources. Last thing uh, I wanted to show you is dot files. Uh, who knows what dot files are? Okay, quite quite a few people. So basically, dot files are all the files in Unix system, Linux, Mac OS that start with dot, it's like uh, dot uh, tmaxconf, dot uh, bash rc, and so on. And all those files store your configuration, your preferences for applications, uh, things like that. And every time you install new system, start using new laptop, or uh, get account and a new new server, you want to uh, set up everything to to match your preferences. Uh, instead of doing that manually, you can. Uh, keep those files in Git repository on the GitHub, GitLab, whenever you want. And the idea is to uh, start up a new environment from scratch to, to the point where you f feel familiar, familiar, like uh, at home, so you know everything uh, is working the way you expect to, all the packages are installed and you don't need to uh, care whether it's there or not. Uh, there's a lot of uh, repositories on GitHub, and that's super useful place where you, want, where you can uh, learn about, uh, for example, Vim configuration or Tmax options available. Uh, manual isn't always the, the best thing, uh, but you can learn a lot from those, those repositories. Yeah. Uh, so, what what I do basically is I have some just simple script that copies all the configuration files in place. Uh, another approach would be to keep uh, dot files directly in Git repository, but it could be tricky because you have to be uh, careful not to store uh, things like uh, SSH keys, passwords, and so on. There are a lot, of, a lot of resources you can read about it. And as we don't have much time, I guess it's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. First question.
thank you for your talk. Uh, I would like to ask you for about the uh, seashell. In the beginning, you show you shown that you show that uh, if you t type only the first part uh, of uh, of a path with the letters slash uh, letter slash, and it is unique, it will be automatically expanded. Yeah, great. Uh, you can also configure the prompt in that shell that it shows just the parts of the of the path. Do you or anyone else uh, in this uh, room know how to tell him in the prompt to show the unique path to your current directory that is shortened to the minimum possible yeah. number of letters that can identify uniquely the whole path? Oh, you, you mean you want to see only first letters of the path. I want to okay. see if, if, there, if there is only one directory that starts with an A, I want okay. to see just the A. If there is one AAX and ABX, I want to see AA or AB, which mm -hmm. would allow me to copy and paste uh, these paths and then just yeah. press tab and get the whole mm -hmm. path automatically. Does anybody know? Because this is something that I am talking to you about it since 30 seconds, but it's something that I was not able to formulate correctly in Google to find an answer to that. Thank you. Well, uh, as I showed, there are a lot of plugins for this show. Maybe one of them does the thing you're asking about. Not sure, sorry. OK, thank you. Uh, do we have a question over there? Yeah, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, that's right. I, I forgot to show you about uh, uh, history. So history works like this: you type uh, some command, and then using arrows up and down, you navigate history for that that command. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Any more question over there? And second over there. Hi, so did you try playing with Xon shell? So shell written in Python and where you can write in Python? Uh, yeah, I saw it last year on Lightning Talk uh, at EuroPython. Uh, I tried to play a bit with it. I can't remember really what was the reason that I switched to Zshell instead. Yeah, uh, uh, well, may maybe a lot has changed during uh, last year, and maybe it's uh, worth trying it out again. Okay, thank you. We have time for one or two quick questions. Uh, as you were uh, showing us that the indicator that the repo has changed, you had this like small Unicode X. Yeah. Do you have a terminal that support supports Unicode, on what is the version of the terminal? Because mine doesn't have that. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it could be the matter, just a matter of the font used in the terminal. There's a bunch of different uh, teams for Zshow. Each of them might use different font, might require different font to show all the things, like uh, arrows, thunders, hearts, and so on. There's a lot of, a lot of to choose from. Okay. One last question. Someone? Ah, okay, yeah. Like there you just type the start of a command and then toggle through previous commands which started with the same. But I was more thinking about like reverse search and bash where you type a little bit of any part of the command and maybe I'm confused. Yeah, it works basically the same as uh, in bash. So come on there, and you uh, try to search. And one final thing, the, the thing with, with the git, and the, if you have a dirty working directory, it has the little X, does that come with, a, is that with, like with some git plugin, or is it? Yeah, uh, that's a git plugin for this show. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Once again. Thanks. <laughs>